What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to maximize your game this weekend so that you can get the most out of the double XP weekend going on right now. Now, this might be a little bit shorter of a tips video, but it's because we've in one way, shape or another touched on each things that we're talking about here today. So, I don't really want to take too much time up because we have mentioned it previously, but I'm still going to get the main point across to you guys. So, with that said, let's just jump right into it here. The first and the biggest thing is that you want to play objective modes. Those give you more opportunity to get more XP because there's more stuff to do. Rather than say TDM where you're just running around getting kills and the max that you'll get per kill is 100 points. So bearing that in mind, it's a lot easier and better to play these objective modes that have little side objectives or rather main objectives and the kills of those side objectives. Depends on really where you classify your priorities in those game modes. I personally think that playing the objective is not really that hard and out of the way and getting these kills on top of that really only adds into how much you can maximize for it. So firstly, let's talk about hard point. This is actually a really good one. It's really easy. It might be a little bit sweaty this weekend because, well, it's hard point and everybody loves to get this free XP almost. But what you essentially are doing is if you sit in the hill, you're not only helping your team win, which is going to only accrue you a bigger XP bonus towards the end of the match. You're also letting players run right towards you, which if you get kills on the hard point is actually extra XP. And then in that point in time, also from that perspective, players are literally running towards you, just flocking to where you want to be. So if you do not get overwhelmed by the amount of players that are coming towards you, chances are you can get some free easy kills out of this because you're already going to have position on the entrance points to the hard point and all that kind of stuff. Unless it is wide open like it is on say Nuketown by where the car usually is. That's something that is situational, but for the most part, players are just going to be running towards you and with that positioning in your favor, chances are you can maximize what you can get out of that. Now, for those of you guys that love the classic domination game mode, well, this is actually a great one as well, but it's a little bit more tough to get as much XP as possible. Really, I think if you really wanna just expedite how much XP you get towards this game mode, you wanna start capturing flags because not only do you get extra points for capturing the flags themselves, but also if you end up getting kills, it's 200 XP per kill. So say somebody is trying to capture B flag if you're on that and they start running after you trying to neutralize you and keep that flag, well then if you get those kills off, you can get one, two, three, maybe even four and up of those kills whenever they come running towards you and each one is 200 score. So that's something that again really helps out, but it's a little bit more tough and situational to maximize completely on that. Next up, we're gonna talk about Uplink very briefly, and if you wanna slay out, this is a great place to do so, because there are a lot of people that play the objective. While I still advocate to play the objective, Uplink is one of those ones where it's almost a necessity to slay out rather than play the objective, but it is something that if you really love the objective, you can play it and not necessarily go for the kills, but it is a lot easier because all these people are trying to run the satellite to the Uplink station, and while they're just running there, they're essentially defenseless. Yes, they have more armor, but they don't have anything to fight back with, so you can essentially take out a few targets as just sitting ducks. So it definitely does help out, and of course, scoring every so often is nice too. But finally, the last game mode that I wanna to touch on here today that I absolutely love for XP, that's Kill Confirmed. If you don't wanna to play too much objective and you want a quicker game, this is literally the way to go because it's an in-between between TDM and one of the more hardcore objective game modes. Because all you have to do is get kills, and then of course the tags drop, which are the objective portion of it. So you're gonna get a ton of XP for just capturing and denying tags, which really isn't that hard to do because for the most part, unless you're sniping, a lot of your kills aren't gonna be across the map. So they're usually right in a closer proximity towards you. So all you have to do is really just run over and pick up the tag. Nothing really too out of the ordinary. But doing all that though is definitely going to help you out increase the amount of XP you get per game, which if you consistently do this over the weekend is definitely gonna help you rank up super fast. So that's where I think we're gonna wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this double XP weekend. I sadly won't be a part of it because well, I'm on a couple trips right now traveling at the moment. So this, as it goes live, I'm actually not even gonna be at my desk. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys hyped to get this double XP weekend? And how much do you plan on grinding out this weekend? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help. And as of course, greatly appreciated. But my name is Nicole Espresso. See you guys later. Take care and peace.